What's up guys, Joe here. I haven't done one of these for freaking ages. Um, in fact, the last time I did one, um, I was talking about how my treatment was working, and as you may be able to guess by the title of this video, which should, hopefully, if I've future me's paid attention to what I'm doing now, should be called Shit's Gone Sideways. Um, because, to be honest, it has, big time. So, I guess I could bring you guys up to speed where we are. So, last time I said everything's going well, blood markers are looking good, that's my thyroglobulin markers were down to 53, um, they were at 383 when they first started, all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, um, I found a lump, didn't I? So, um, I guess this is one, an apology if you're only finding out now and I haven't told you in person or spoken to you individually, I can't tell everybody individually, I wish I could, I, I can't keep track, um, a lot of stress flying around. But no, I found this lump here. Can you see that? That is thyroid cancer. Um, and I found out two days before my last treatment, which was at the very beginning of June. So here we are, end of July, and we have a bit of a treatment plan going forward. Um, I'm going in for surgery on the 17th of August, and they're gonna be removing this. And they also found a little fleck, I guess they call it a fleck, um, six millimeters across um, in my thyroid bed as well. Um, I don't know what they're doing about that, um, or apart from they're not chopping it out. I wish they would. Um, but they're not. They're hoping that the radioactive iodine treatment is going to take care of it. So, blood markers. They're back up to over 600. So that's 12 times as high as they were. I don't think it's exponential um, if you were to plot it on a graph like this. So it's um, not exactly an exact science, which is cancer all over. But what it does mean is that my... Um, well, I'm losing. Uh, also, the stuff in my lungs has grown as well, which is pretty shit. Now, it may seem like I seem pretty upbeat, and people with cancer can be upbeat. Mine's a really solid act, and I'll be very honest with everyone here. Um, I'm angry, I'm upset, I'm scared, I'm fucking tired, really fucking tired, um, all the time. Um, and that's because of stress, not sleeping, and the heat in the UK at the moment doesn't help. It's about 30 degrees. Um, I haven't had rain for weeks. <laughs> like we're at the point where I feel like I might keel over and uh, die from that instead. So, I'm not out. I'm not done. Um, they're not counting down the days or anything like that. The prognosis is still supposed to be quite good. Um, according to facts and figures, depending on where you look, um, if I was over 50, um, my survival chances would be like 50%. Um, because I'm under 50, um, I'm about 90% still for my five-year survival rate. Well, I was diagnosed almost two years ago now, so um, I think I was living with it a lot longer than that as well. So that's kind of how the stuff in my lungs grew in the first place. Which means, in my head, um, I'm already ahead of the game. But yeah, next steps. Surgery, more radioactive iodine treatment, which is odd because it hasn't, it was working and then suddenly it wasn't. So at least us all in this room, I say us all, um, so myself, my wife Kim, um, my parents, um, are very much left kind of wondering what on earth we do now and what happens. We're just believing the doctors and Yeah, today when they said they were going to leave some in there even though they know it's there is a bit weird um, Even though they're hoping that it's going to be okay. Uh, I've got to wait and see what happens really but I have a plan and I have a plan. Uh, I've gone and signed up for one of these ultra white collar boxing matches. Now all money raised goes to cancer research and I feel like that might be quite a smart move for me to help keep me kind of focused and keep me physically fit because it's something to refocus on. Because at the moment, I don't really feel like going to the gym. I don't feel like working out. I don't feel like training unless I have a reason. And this will become my reason. Uh, I did my first gym training session yesterday. That was absolutely freaking awesome. It was great to be back in the gym. And actually, I don't feel too bad today. Uh, also, Kim and I have sorted out our nutrition. Um, we're using Huel. No promos, no sponsorships, no tie-ins nothing like that here. It, this is a channel with like 100 subscribers, no one cares. Um, but it's, the idea being is that we've been really bad with food and we've both been essentially feeding each other like, like this. And what we've discovered is that uh, we struggle. And at the moment it's so hot, you don't want to cook. You don't want to cook, what if there's an easier solution? Say for example, you're literally having um, a milkshake and it has, and this is not like a Oh, is that like SimFast then? It's not, and it's not like just protein shakes either. Um, it contains all 
um, minerals, vitamins, um, a good concentration of carbs, protein, fats, everything. And that's complex carbs and simple carbs as well. Um, it's got everything in there. So that should really help us out and that should help me track my calorie intake and hopefully lose some weight. Um, I went up from 75 kilos to 90 and I'm currently at 90 kilos at the moment. Um, I am going to hopefully vlog my progress. I've spoken to the guys in my gym and they say I'm totally okay to film and stuff in there. Um, so I'll probably be filming some and I'll let you guys know how the progress goes. So if that's something you're interested in, that's cool. You know, Leave a comment and let me know. Then I can keep doing it. I can carry on um, making the videos and stuff. But so far, thyroid cancer for being the best cancer to get, according to doctors, is an utter shit. Um, it's an utter shit. Not done yet, though. But surgery in two weeks. Three weeks. Two and a half, three weeks. Three weeks. So that's going to be top. And that's going to involve two-week recovery time for sur um, post-surgery. Then after that, probably another couple of weeks until I'm going to be able to be... Um, properly moving around um, in energetic fashion so back to working out and back to training but I can obviously go to the gym do some walking on the treadmill um, some light cycling stuff like that as long as I'm not moving my head around too much because the scar is going to be running from about here up to about there apparently and did you know as well you have more than one jugular so if there is a problem with it because there might be the cancer might spread and be involved in my jugular if it is they just Clamp it off and remove the section. Because you got two. I didn't know that. But it's amazing what you learn. And obviously I ask questions to find this stuff out. Because no one tells you stuff unless you ask. Uh, that's my experience with cancer in the NHS so far. Is if you don't ask, you don't find out. So ask. Ask questions. Find out what you can, what you need to. It's important. I don't think I've got much else to say, to be honest. Other than... So... I'm going to try and make some more videos, I'm going to be a little bit more consistent on this channel um, with uploading some stuff. At the same time, uh, I'm going to do some vlog stuff, vlog style stuff, um, involving workouts, maybe some montages, like really like classic Rocky stuff, that'd be cool. And at the same time, I've got the charity boxing match hopefully coming up uh, in, in December, that'll be 1st of December. So I've got plenty of time between now and then to get myself into shape for it and uh, build myself back up post-surgery. Again, that's another reason for doing this food stuff is that I'm going to be eating when you've had surgery on your neck is turd. It's really bloody difficult. Trust me. I know. I've been there twice. It's rough. So hopefully this will, this will be better. And plus it will be better than hospital food, which again, isn't difficult. Um, yeah, isn't difficult. We'll see how it goes. See how it goes. Oh, one last thing as well, actually. Something I've done since last time. My last treatment I had, so back at the beginning of June, uh, when I was first out of hospital, I did a 24-hour charity live stream on my gaming channel, Commander Plater, and we raised £8,150 for the British Thyroid Foundation, which was incredible, like absolutely amazing. Uh, I can't believe I managed to do the whole 24 hours. The second one I've done as well. Last year we raised like 5400 This year, um, you know, no, no, last time it was 3500 Jeez. So this time, uh, to raise well, well over double that, absolutely incredible so um, it was an amazing turnout um, it had 150 odd people watching throughout the whole 24 hours and that is even during the middle of the night um, for pretty much everywhere in the world uh, because there are certain times where you see things dip off because of um, well you're like British night time American night time then it comes back up again but it was incredible brilliant 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 experience and I'm looking forward to the next one weirdly and it should be good I hope to raise even more money because it makes a difference uh, and I use the British Thyroid Foundation website, um, which is like btf.org, I think, or, yeah, probably that, that's the website, and they, I'll put it in the description of the video, because I can't remember, but yeah, they're really, um, really useful, lots of information on there that I've used, and they are actually still looking for funding and stuff like that as well, so if you fancy donating to them, please do, um, tell them Joe Plater sent you, they know who I am which is weird, but yeah, please do. Uh, but I am gonna call time for the video there. I'm gonna encourage people to hit the like button and subscribe and share. That's the most important part, share it, because I want to try and share my journey as I go through with people, because I don't know where to look for this stuff. YouTube seems pretty good, but no one I know, especially for me, I'm 34 year old male, 
we don't get thyroid cancer, but here I am with thyroid cancer. So please share, there might be someone else out there who's going through the same thing, struggling, trying to look for other people. If I can build a community of people that we can all lean on and support, that would be incredible. Um, I could do that. Let's do that. So, share the video, like the video, um, and also leave me a comment if you're going through a similar situation. And if you do have any questions about anything that I've been through, if you're maybe two steps behind me, waiting for your first surgery and you wanna know what recovery's like, come and ask me, I'll tell you, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I'm gonna say, once again, thank you very much for watching, and um, I will hopefully see you guys in another video soonish. Never know, might be one of those gym vlog ones I keep banging on about. Okay guys, thanks for watching.